What is going on guys? My name is Prometheus and we're going to be doing something special, long, and obnoxious today. I'm going to show you start to finish how to build a missile for BD Armory, including a booster and animated fins. Now, this is a going to be a long video and I'm not going to record it on one sing. Right now it's 4.46, I've got math at 5.05, so in about mm, a little less than 10 minutes I'm going to dip out of here, go do that, and then i got to do my laundry. So, busy day for me, but all the same, we are going to get started. So, when you open up Blender, which is the program I use, the first thing you're probably going to want to do is, well, delete this. Now, you've got a nice blank canvas with nothing in it and you can really get started. Now, you're going to want to press N. Well, N opens this tool menu on the right, and you're going to click Background Images. Now, this seems cheaty to some people, but honestly, this is how all models are made for the most part. You need to have a reference. So, you just hit Add Image, you hit Open, and in my case, I have downloaded a picture of the weapon I'm going to make, which is, this is the active development, oops, one, five, fuck, <laughs> of the, um, this one, it's going to be the RGM, actually. It's just, it's the same missile, it just looks a little different here. Now, what happens with this is the background image played in the orthotic, or the, um, orthotic field, I think. So if I rotate, there's something there, and I press 1, it shows up. Press, basically, you have to press 1 and 5 several times over until it works. So the first thing I'm going to do is save, and we're going to call this RGM, eh, 84, re. This is going to be the new version. So, now we're going to create a cylinder. This is going to be the base of your missile. So I rotate this by negative 90 and I'm going to align it. Now we're going to be using this one down here and it doesn't really matter where you build. Just try and keep, uh, first things actually, is you're going to want to change your units to metric. This is under the scene tab and you basically just scale it down until your part just basically matches up and covers it. So you've created a sort of fake version. So I'm just going to make sure my Y transformation, which in this case is this direction, is zero. And I'm going to go to edit mode. I'm going to check my audio again because I don't want to mess up. I don't have time to. And basically we're going to extend this until we hit this point. And what I like to do, there, it's easier to do this other ways, but I'm, I'm cheaty and boring. So I just do a little hit E to extend and then drag it to there and press E again and then I can just make these little spe special seams black later. So doing this is a little tricky always. And we're just going to kind of model the missile like so. And once it points up being a little bit smaller on the nose, but that's just kind of how I have to do it for it to look decent. Okay, so that's going to look just fine once it's all smoothed over. You'll notice it's pretty round because it has 32 faces, but it can get better later. So I hit E again for this little black line, extend through to the next one. And you'll notice there's a little dip here. That's because there's an air intake on this missile. It does not deploy, unlike on some other missiles. I'm going to make this a little thinner so it's even. So we don't have to worry about that. And we're going to make one more black line there. And then we're going to go here and start scaling down because the right here, this connects differently. So. We're going to just keep, you're using E to extend and then S to scale it. And I just do this, so now it's flat. And now I'm going to hit E and just drag it through. And then we're going to hit S a little bit, scale it, and bring it back. And now it's smaller. And you'll see it doesn't really, you can't really get a view of it. So it doesn't give you the idea that it's actually like just angled in. It just looks like it's just smaller. And you just do that again, and that's your engine nozzle. Pretty simple. Control S to save. So that's the main missile body. And I have a few more minutes. My call is actually very close to this class. So next thing we're going to do is make the booster. Now the booster has to be a separate part when it detaches. So we're going to make another cylinder. And we're going to go to negative 90 again. And we're going to bring it over here and click this to zero. Now for the getting the diameter, just control C, control V. You know what's now it's squished, so you got to get the other one. Control V. What the? Where do you come from? I have no idea where that, what that was or where that came from. So now you know it's pretty much the same diameter. And we're just going to go to edit mode, grab this back face again, and scale it down. We're going to check, and yep, that looks okay. So now we're going to get the front and do this. Now we're going to basically scale it so it's like this. And then we're just going to scale it so it's like that. So you can see there's a little bit of a gap, but that's supposed to be like that, and you'll notice it's not centered. I wonder why. You'll notice that my negative Z is in a different place. So I'm going to hit Control V, and now that's centered. And go back to here. 
the same thing I did before with the nozzle. Boom, you get that. So that's going to be the booster. And I'm going to make sure these parts stay separate. Now I hit, like hitting control out, control shift alt C and doing center to center of mass. You can only do that in object mode, by the way. And that just makes sure everything's lined up. So you'll go to here. And what's nice about this picture is while it's not quite in view, like this is not, this is showing the fins in their real position. It does give you a good idea of how big the fin's going to be. So the next part is going to be to make the fins, which you take a cube for. And you're going to scale it down so it's roughly the correct height. And then you're going to hit zero on the Y, scale that. And once you have your correct height, which is just like that, you're going to go to your Y dimension. That's going to make it about two centimeters. Now, that's not how thick the fin is. It's going to probably wind up being thinner. But that's good because it will be properly scaled. So we're just going to drag this to here. You just get the simplest part of the fin, that actual rectangular part, done first. And now we're going to hit E, extend to there, E, and extend to there at the bottom. And then you're going to go switch to your uh, edge select, grab this, and just drag it over so you're just like that. And it's just basically lined up. It's pretty simple, actually, to do this. And it, you'll find that after you do it for a little while, it becomes very, very easy. So object mode, hit, control save, control out, shift C, center of mass, good. And we are going to skip doing the other fins because one thing I want to point out in this, which I will show you this picture later, is if you look in here, which I think I can go open image in new tab, where is that button? Is this going to be bigger? Yeah. You can see that these are folded. Really, they're folded. So that means our fin is, where is you, really not that accurate. And you'll notice it's small. It's the right width, but it's not quite the right height because it's this is showing it at a probably 45 degree angle. So what I'm going to do is save this for later, and we're going to make a sort of pseudo fin by going into here. Wrong object. Edit mode. And I'm going to basically go to Tools, Loop, Cut, and Slide, and grab the edges right there. And we're going to grab it again. And this is going to just create a seam in the part right there. So going to object mode now, we have this. These faces, which I believe with the default is about four, is about like three off on each, but I think I can go with four off. I go four off the central axis. E.02, or rather control Z, E.02. Point five, four, three, two. Eh. I don't know. I'll get it to yeah in a minute, but e point oh one, two, three. E point oh three is going to be fine. We're going to scale it. It's going to narrow in on itself a little bit. And this is going to be basically the base of the fin. So we're going to not scale it right now. Actually, we're going to go get the others. So this one, E.03, and then on the bottom, this is my central, so there, E.03. I'm losing my uh, hydration of my mouth. And we're going to just grab all of these, and we're going to go to this right here, and we're going to click Individual Origins, and we're going to scale it, and that way they all scale together. If I was in any other mode, like if I was in the uh, medium point, it all scale towards the medium point. I'm not trying to do that here. While that's a cool effect, that's not what I'm trying to do right now. So I'm going to scale it till it's about there. So it's a little bit narrower and a little bit um, shorter. So this fin now, we go back to object mode, will eventually sit on top of these and then it will fold down flat against the missile. And I'll just scale it to be a little bit better when we get to that point. Now, it's time for me to go to math, so I, when I come back, I will show you guys how to do, just basically continue with the process. I'll catch you there. And I am back. Math class actually got out like 12 minutes early, which is awesome, and then I have a bottle of water here. You can just probably just hear me drinking from real quick there. Um, so hopefully you hear my tongue sticking to my mouth. <laughs> if you hear me talk at all. Hopefully you hear the, my tongue sticking to the roof of my mouth less. 
And, um, oh, I also switched my microphone to not be my webcam microphone, be my headset microphone, which should help a bit, too. Now, oops. Uh, back to where we were. Uh, one thing I do want to say real quick is I am aware that these are not at perfect 45-degree angles due to the fact that just this is there's less space here than there is here. That's just because of the size of the cylinder, and honestly, it's going to look just fine in-game. It's really not going to have any effect on it because I'm going to put the fins on at 45-degree angles, and they will match just on the edge. It's going to be okay. I'm sorry, just bear with me. Oh, God. Please bear with me. One sec. Fuck. Oh, my throat is just flamed up. I was sick, and now I've gotten better, but not really. Okay, so... Next thing we're going to do is basically go back to here and do kind of the same thing we did with that for these. So E.03 is, I think, what we had before. Yep. E.03. We're just going to grab these same ones and do like so and check my audio. And it's going to be probably sound a little different. I may have to adjust the volume because I'm using a separate mic now, but whatever. It will be all right, I promise. And you won't really know, except for the fact I'm bitching about it a lot. You'll know that. So, going back to object mode, we leave this. We're going to create another cube. And we're going to reset your rotation like so. And we're just going to... I can model it up here. Why not? It's not a big deal. It's all the same on these ones. So basically it works like that. So now we've got it roughly where we want it. I just want to make sure it's not... You'll, you'll see what I mean. So we go like this. So it's on the edge here. And we're going to... 0.015, so 1.5 centimeters. So it's a little thinner than the other ones, and once again, it will get scaled and be even thinner still. So we're going to just drag these to get kind of the really absolute rough shape. So this is going to be the back of the fin. And now we're going to drag this to be like there. And that's just the fin. It's pretty simple to make these fins, honestly. We're going to go back here, Control shift alt c center mass. My, oh, there's something in my nose. One second. <coughs> you did not want to hear that sound. <laughs> anyway, so that's going to stay roughly there, and that's once again a little bit smaller than the fin actually is, but it will work out just fine. So we're going to now do finally the last fin, which in this case is just for the booster, so I have to do it down here. So, zero. Yeah, I said zero in a weird voice right there, if you couldn't understand. Nothing, no fancy modeling language here. Point oh, I guess two will be fine for this. Mm -hmm. And we're just going to do the extend there instead of what we did on the other one. Now, I used to do these differently. I used to just extend directly from the cylinder, kind of like what I did over here. And that's why the fins on my early mo missiles were really not that good. They were very thick. This makes for a much better fin, and it's just better in general. So, we now have the different fins we're going to need, and we have the booster, and we have the main missile body. So, what we want to do is attach all these together. But you'll notice we have one fin for each type, and it's, well, that's not what we need. So, we need four. So, we're going to go shift it. Oh, actually, you know what? Before we even do that, to move up and we're going to see that there is the air intake down here so I'm just going to do it this way I'm going to select you and we're going to think it ends about here so it's about in the middle of the fins so I'm just going to go to face mode and grab like three oops control Z if you hold shift it collects more than one if you hold alt and shift it will select like the whole selection along that line so just keep aware of that so that's roughly what that's going to be and we're just going to hit E, and we're not going to bother with... It's moving really slow. I'm going to select active elements so they don't move quicker in this instance. And then that's going to be roughly what the air intake is. And uh, maybe, maybe a little further. Pretty simple. Now, the reason... Oops, I didn't do it evenly. I was supposed to select all three. Or all four, rather. derp de derp <laughs> My bad. I fixed it now. That's too much. That's good. And I also didn't pay any attention whatsoever. God damn it. E. There we go. Selecting medium point seems to have fixed the oddness of that. So, we're going to go to here, and we're going to grab these edges. 
And we're gonna kind of just bring these up to here. We're gonna leave a gap, but that's just gonna round it out a bit. And to have the same sort of effect, we're gonna take U, like so, and bring this forwards, and then down, ooh, not down. And that just gives it a little bit of a rounded effect on the back, which is fine. You just want a little bit. So now, go in here, I'm gonna select these faces, we're gonna hit E, and like that, and we're gonna shrink them down, like this, we're gonna hit one, and this will give us the, from the side view, and we're gonna level this out, so it's perfect, you can't see these things, hit E now. And we're gonna kind of take these and raise these up so you don't see them as much either. And that gives us a little scoop that's basically gonna be the air intake now. And it's not the highest quality thing, and in fact, I'm actually gonna undo it completely for the moment and make these a little bigger so it's thinner. Just save it real quick. Really just need to move these ones up. I just wanna move it a little bit. I don't wanna have too much weird overlap, but anyway, yeah, these can move further back too. And that's gonna be our intake. It's pretty simple and it doesn't break much, which is a big part of 3 modeling is just trying very hard to do things without breaking everything. And doing that will give it a more rounded look, and so there we go, we got a nice little air intake. It's not quite as dramatic as the one on the KH-35, but eh, I don't need it to be. Yes, the KH-35, I was just like, is that the KH-29 or the KH-35? Also, we're getting people private messaging me saying the KH-25 uh, does not work. I don't have a KH-25. That exists, but I don't have it. Um, for reasons of I have the more advanced versions. So, now that we have this basically done, oops, we're gonna make the fins mirrored all around. But, um, yep, just making sure I did all the parts right. So, we're gonna take U, and we're gonna rotate U 45 degrees on the X. And f we wanna make sure it's aligned properly, so the easiest way I found is to go Shift A, Empty, Plane Axis, rotate this 45, and then just, in this case, I'm gonna make these go, at least in this case, just to zero. It's just gonna be easier for this instance so that I can just take you and tell you to go zero, zero, zero. And now you're right in the middle of the missile, which is all what I want. So now I center you roughly there, and you'll see that the 45 degrees is slightly on the inside. So it's not ideal, but it will work. So now we're gonna go and just carefully line these guys up. Notice it's a bit too big, so I might just remodel this completely. But I think what I'm gonna do is just that. So scaled it a little. And we're just gonna try and, in this case, we're just gonna center it on this little platform rather than really use this guide. The guide is just a guide at this point. So we've got it like so, and we're gonna try rotating it to be about 50 degrees, or about 40, I think 47, because we're just kind of improving it here, because we don't have like the perfect symmetry, which I normally have. I just kind of wanted this sort of a look here, so let's go 48. That's a little better. You know, 47. That's probably what it should be technically. And you can see now it's about a good angle. So if I click U and I go to Object, let's. I hope this works and doesn't embarrass me on camera. I also hope my audio is still recording. I'm paranoid about that. I go, and oh, and my whole dorm is going to think I'm crazy just talking to myself. I already told the guys here to me. I'm like, Gabe, I promise, I'm not insane. <laughs> anyway, we're going to mirror it around the cylinder, and you'll see it fits nice right there. And we're going to select the Y axis, so now we've got all four. And you'll notice they're all a little bit too big, so I have to shrink this. Oops, not shrink. Rather, I'm going to make this a little closer in. So now they should, in theory, once I balance this so it's like in the middle. Now, this is gonna merge the models a little bit, but that's fine. They're all roughly in the middle. And it's a little different, but it's gonna work fine because it's gonna be animated. So we're gonna hit apply, and now control out shift C, center of mass, and we've got four fins, because we just mirrored them around it. So we're gonna hit select, we're gonna, actually I'll do that in a bit. So we're gonna do the same thing for this. 47.5, and in this instance, we're gonna have to do it a little differently, because I want this fin to be like in mesh with it, like so, so it's facing in, so I move it forward a little, 
and you'll notice it extends more on the front. So we're going to go to edit mode and I want it to have the same sort of base all around. So we're going to take these faces. Actually, no, I think I can probably do it just with this. So we're going to just move it so it's about level. And we're going to just have to do this for the whole thing. I think if I select all four, boom, that should make them all level. Ooh. Except for that one is like substantially not level. Oh yeah, because I had already moved that one and I hadn't moved the others. Whoops. I told you I'm bad at this. Somehow I'm willing to embarrass myself for the internet. So we're going to the assistance of the internet nonetheless. So that's going to be like that. And it's not going to be perfectly level because this is sloping back to begin with, but it's just going to be a little better. And we're going to go back to here. We're going to go back to tools, loop cut and slide. We're going to go basically the front of the fin. And we're going to go back to faces and E.03. E.03, and that's going to be like that. So we're just going to. I'll move these all in sync rather. So. I'm actually kind of making up half of this as I go, because every missile is completely different, and you really do have to adjust your techniques. So you're seeing how to do this particular thing, but it's a bit different. Some of them are really simple. In this case, I'm making it more difficult to myself by intentionally doing the, uh, why can I not see? I don't need the, why the hell are you up there? That's completely unhelpful. Why are you down there? I don't want the global. I want just, no idea why it's like that. Anyway, um, that's going over too much. It's like really hard to see because it's just really not cooperating with me. Anyway, that works. So there's going to be a little overlap, but it's going to be fine. So, object mode, select this again, and we go back to, why are you on the 3D cursor? You should be under active element. That's why it was over there. I hate it sometimes. So we're going to increase the height of you so that you kind of fit in like so. And it's, dang it, it's going out the front. Wait, what? That's odd. We gotta just center it in this. We're gonna take all these and move them just ever so slightly forwards. That way, blends in nice. God damn it. I just undid all my work and then tried to redo it and then undid it further. I also have to remind myself to talk at a proper volume for a video because I lapse into just not talking very loud because I'm worried other people are hearing me and I know other people are hearing me. Anyway, we finally got the fucking fin to attach and uh, excuse my language, but this is sometimes a stressful process and I really need to do my laundry. I'm like on my last shirts <laughs> and I'm like out of shorts and it's really hot. So I'm kind of sacrificing my own life center mass for your guys' sake, so you should feel happy. And we're just going to do the same thing we did before not Z, Y. And you'll see that those all fit in nice. So apply. Control out, shift C, center mass, boom. And for the last set, since, are these collapsible? Yeah, they're collapsible. Curses. Can you open properly? I guess we're going to do the same thing here. here you know what, I'm just going to do this one separate from the main missile body. Actually, hang on, it looks like, yeah, you can definitely tell. See, this is what I mean by, if you look at the missile fins, it tells you how there's a sort of gap in them, that thing, which is why I was doing that the way I was. So, we're going to go to loop, cut, and slide, grab about there, and loop, cut, and slide about there, and we're going to go object, 
no, we're not going to hide object mode. We're going to select faces. And we're going to grab that one and that one. Yep. And that one and that one. Alright, we're actually not going to do that. We're going to remember that I have to not do them all at once because it doesn't work. There we go. And we're going to grab all of them now. And I think we're going to just scale a little bit. And I selected Nope, I didn't. Individual origins. Oops. Oops. Boom. Object mode. And 47.5. And you know what? It's actually going to be easier if I just do this back up here. Anyway, so... He's going to take you, drag you in, and you're, this is really just an example of what I use as a guideline using that, um, let me press this and it will kind of fix my camera, um, using the plane axes because it really does not work properly right here because of how I've been doing things, but it's really helpful elsewhere. So we're going to just make sure you're about even, and we're actually going to go back into here, and we're going to kind of undo... Uh, I want to just increase the length of these, so yeah, I think that would be the best way to do that. I'm just going to drag them forwards, and it's not going to cause too much negative effect doing that. Did I forget to drag that one? No, I didn't. And this is just going to correct that out. Boom. Now it all fits perfectly. And I have no idea what my recording time is, but I'm going to split these videos into the modeling, the texturing, the animation, the export to Unity slash Unity, and then I guess maybe the configs if I get that far. So um, that's about centered. It's a little better that way. Let's just see how tall it gets. See how much taller it can actually be. I want to make sure I get as much as possible outside without being too bad. So you know, now you'll see I have to like make it the bottom thing bigger if I want it to fit properly. So I'm not going to. It's gonna be a little shorter. Uh, it's like that angle is just not quite perfect, but I'm okay with it. So now we're going to go back to mirror. And in this case, we're going to mirror around cylinder 0 0.1. And we're going to grab the Y. And we're going to double check that they all fit right and click apply. Control out shift C, center mass A. So now we're going to delete you because we don't need you. You'll notice we've got all our fins, we've got our intake, and the model looks pretty good. But um, it's not done at all. So we're going to do control J. Just select all of them, right click, shift right click, shift right click, shift right click. Uh, actually, we're not going to do that yet. Control J. Control J. There we go. Control out shift C, center mass. Control out shift C, center mass. Now we're going to take this piece and go way over here. And then we're going to join them. Control J. Now you may wonder why I'm doing that. But the reason is when I do the ambient occlusion, it's going to be a really, this is going to appear like black right here and all of this if I don't have this separated because it's going to basically say say where these parts are relative to another and then do shadows based on that. So now that we've done that it's time to end this video because this is actually the end of the modeling and we're going to start the next one which is on texturing. So I will see you guys in the second part.